I'm standing on what was supposed to be Saskatchewan's hydroelectric project of the future. The La Colle Falls Power Dam was supposed to put Prince Albert on the map. Instead, it put the city in the poorhouse. And 87 years after construction started, it still sits unfinished. At the turn of the century, Prince Albert's civic leaders had a dream. Their town would become the power producing capital of Western Canada. All kinds of companies would set up there. The town would prosper. All they needed was a dam across the North Saskatchewan River. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It was simply the, the mood of the times. There was just so much optimism and uh, faith in the future. The promise of the vision of Prince Albert of becoming a great manufacturing center uh, just simply blinded people to the realities. Larry Green is a local historian. He says enthusiasm won out over common sense. Cost estimates were far too low for what it was actually going to cost, and the estimates of the hydroelectric potential were far too high. It didn't seem to matter that the project was designed to produce 7 megawatts of power at a time when the city was using less than half a megawatt, or that the river flow in the winter might not be enough to power the dam or even that the federal government took one look and decided not to invest in the project. Prince Albert went ahead on its own. The price tag, $1.2 million, a staggering amount at the time. Construction began in April 1912. By fall, more than 300 men were working on the project. Hundreds more carried supplies from Prince Albert to the river. The site was excavated, a lock was built, and the dam itself was nearly half finished. Things were going great, and it looked like the job would be finished in about a year. That's when the money began to run out. They borrowed considerable sums of money to not only build the uh, dam and power project, they borrowed uh, well over a million dollars for improvements in the town of Prince Albert for the anticipated population growth. Not only was the financing falling apart, other problems plagued the project. Supplies that were transported from Prince Albert down to the site, either by road or by, uh, by the river, there was a, a fair amount of pilfering done in, in the process. Uh, there was no adequate control over what left Prince Albert and what left and what arrived at the Coal Falls. By the summer of 1913, the city of Prince Albert couldn't raise any more money for the project. The end came on July 29th. The Imperial Bank turned down a loan request for $200,000. Work on the dam stopped the same day. The financial burden was too much for the city to handle. In 1918, Prince Albert went bankrupt. The La Colle Falls project was permanently shelved. For almost a century, the half-finished dam has served as a reminder to the people of Prince Albert of what bureaucratic bungling can do as if they needed one. The financial legacy should have been enough. City taxpayers didn't finish paying for the La Colle Falls project until 1965. For the CBC NewsHour, I'm Bill Wazer, near Prince Albert.